All right, so here we're going to talk about drop caps. And what drop caps are is when you have a large letter at the beginning of each chapter. So this letter Y is larger than the rest of the text. But in this case, this text is all Cambria size 12 point, and this Y is simply Cambria size 18 point. So it's just a bigger Y, which is not what a drop cap is. A drop cap is something different than that. Drop cap actually takes up more space in the line and gives you a nice presentation look to it. So you can see that's on chapter one, chapter two is just a little bigger, chapter three is just a little bigger, and so on. All right, so instead of doing this whole Cambria 18 thing, let's just put this back down to Cambria 12, which is where it belongs. All right, so now this is a normal text as it's starting this chapter. And then what we do is we select the letter that we want to be a drop cap, and we click on Insert, which is one of the menu options in the top. And then over on the right, there is an option for drop cap. Now, I think that the recording is not going to show you the actual options once I click on this, but the recordings, well, let's see if it shows it, but the three main options are none, dropped, and in margin. So right now it's on none. And if we do dropped, this is what a drop cap should look like. So it's a nice big T and then it goes into the rest of the text and it takes up a couple lines of text. So it's very, very easy to do. You just select the letter, you just select drop cap from the insert menu and you are all set. So this is a simple thing to do that really makes your document look nice and professional. Ask with any questions.